Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. Goku and the gods were clashing their powers in an impressive way. However, when the attack was about to explode, Goku would create a barrier for the gods, since the explosion that would occur would be devastating. Meanwhile, outside the dimension, Daishenken was very nervous to feel the overwhelming power. No, damn it! This can't be happening! The power that was felt. I'm sure they were from the Renegade Gods, the Super God Destroyers. Even with my power at its maximum, I'd be no match for those guys. However, at that very moment, an incredibly amazing pressure would fall on the entire realm of everything, making Daishenken unable to breathe due to an amazing power. What the hell? Who is the being that emits such amazing pressure? It's me again, priest. I come to inform you that the legendary god Kakaroto has resurfaced, and apparently his new victims will be you and me. Get ready, because the power he has is incredible. The power that you felt is perhaps Son Goku's? We could say yes. Since you know him as Son Goku, he is the reincarnation of the legendary Kakaroto. Daishenken would be scared because the power that he felt was from another world, and he didn't believe that it was Son Goku. Leviathan would disappear from that place, leaving Daishenken a little nervous because of the new great threat that was approaching. Leviathan would arrive with his emperor informing him that everything that had happened. Don't worry, Leviathan. That damned one doesn't have the overwhelming power he had before, so it will be impossible for him to defeat me again. If he hadn't been for my root replacement, he would have killed me. Meanwhile, returning to the Universe 7, Beerus was a little thoughtful because of everything that was happening. But at that precise moment, a portal would open, arriving Daishenken. God Destroyer of Universe 7, Beerus. Come here, because you are the most powerful god among the Twelve, and together with the Saiyan Vegeta, I want you to raise all your power, because a great threat is coming, and we are gathering the most powerful fighters of all universes. It's alright, High Priest, don't worry, Vegeta and I will become very powerful. Daishenken would leave the place. My father's terrified, who could be the warrior that could put him in such a situation? I didn't know, Wiss, but we must enter together with Vegeta as soon as possible. If there's a warrior that even makes the High Priest afraid of him, he must be a being of great power. Wiss and the God Destroyer Beerus would go to planet Earth in search of the Saiyan Vegeta. However, when they arrived, they felt a hostile look at them. What is wrong with all of you? Why do I feel these auras of hatred towards us? We know what Beerus-sama did, so you're no longer welcome in this place. What are you talking about, Gohan? I have become very powerful, Beerus. So if you don't leave this place, I'll beat it out of you. I'll do it for Kakarot. What's happened to Son Goku? What the hell are you talking about? At that moment, Whis would jump into the conversation. As far as I could tell, Mr. Goku, along with Zeno-sama, has been sealed in the Eternal Angelic Room. Mr. Vegeta apparently thinks we had something to do with it. Beerus would be shocked to learn that Goku and the great king of everything Xenosama were locked up in that dimension. You are not aware of this, Beerus? Of course not. I would not betray my best warrior. Apparently, now the words of the High Priest make sense. The legendary Kakarot has awakened. The original name of Son Goku. What? What are you talking about? Wisp began to explain everything that happened with the High Priest. So the High Priest really was the one who betrayed Kakarot and Xenosama. It seems that's what Lord Vegeta says is correct. Vegeta, I need your power anyways. I can't do anything alone, but if I'm with the help of the Prince of the Saiyans, I know I'll make it. It's okay, Beerus-sama. I realize you had nothing to do with the disappearance of Kakarot. Whis would take Gohan and Vegeta to the planet to begin their training. However, 
What the high priest didn't know was that they were going to train, but this time to defeat him. Returning to the dimension, Goku and the other gods were in deep thought. But at that moment, Mikoshin stood up. Goku, if you are the reincarnation of the legendary Kakaroto, why don't you do something against those bastards? You're right, Mikoshin. I'm the reincarnation of the legendary Kakaroto, but my power is not even 5% of what it used to be. Their power is an omnipotent power. Do omnipotent gods really exist? That's right, Archon. And not only that rank, because even among omnipotent beings, there are ranks. And I was able to face the omnipotent god, the being that was responsible for wiping out my people. How will we face beings that surpass the omnipotent level barrier? We are megaversal beings that don't reach the omnipotent level. They'll tear us to pieces with a single blow. Don't worry about that. That's why we have been meditating for a few months. Goku would stand up. Receive this! Divine Seal Void! Rue Crack activated! Activate Omnipotent Power! An incredible pressure would fall in that place, and a portal would open from so much power that they are raising, Goku at that moment would access to his most powerful transformation to counteract such monstrous power, and that beings from the outside could not feel it. Do not let yourselves be carried away by such excess power! You as the legendary gods must achieve it! I trust you! I trust you, Zenshan! Everyone was trying hard, to the point that their bodies seemed to explode. The whole dimension seemed like a battlefield because they were altering the scenario itself from one moment to another. The dimension of emptiness would return to normal. That's right, everyone managed to contain the power they had obtained, but they knew that if they had a more resistant body, the energy charge would not be so much. Thank you, great Kakaroto-sama. This power is abominable. No one will be able to match us. With this power, Goku, we can leave this damn place and smash that bastard Daishenka to pieces. I can't believe the power I have now. And to think, I was supposed to train you and you trained us better. I thank you, Kakarata-sama, for that. You're my friends, so you must not treat me with respect. At that precise moment, a subject had appeared, this being Yasuke, with the power of the greatest perception of Ki, and was able to find them. However, his power was not that of a warrior, but he had the confidence to kill beings that did not step on the omnipotent rank. Ha ha ha! Damn scum! This moment will be the day of their death. I'll annihilate them without a trace! No, make us laugh. Your omnipotent power is garbage. Even we who just awakened that power could defeat you without any problem. What? Can they sense my power? That's impossible. Only beings that are in the same dimension of power are able to feel my power. That means that you're in omnipotent range. Yasuke would try to escape when Archon would raise his power, realizing that his power was compared to an omnipotent middle-class being, and Yasuke was only activated a low class, but at that moment, Kakarot would stretch out his hand to create a powerful barrier in that dimension, leaving Yasuke trapped and unable to leave that place. It's a very bad idea to come with us. It'll be great training for my friends who just reached the omnipotent level. This must be a damn joke. If they just reached omnipotent level, they shouldn't be in middle class, since we all started from the lowest level. You're wrong, my friend. Since I'm the legendary Kakaroto, when I was born, my rank was a supreme omnipotent. So we didn't all start from the lowest rank like scum like you. Yasuke was paralyzed to know that in front of him was the legendary Kakaroto, feared by the omnipotent omnipresent gods. I hope you're ready. Archon, attack! You don't have to tell me, Kakaroto-sama. I'll tear him to pieces myself. Archon began fighting the fight to begin the balance of his power, where he could be fast and powerful at the same time because a great charge of energy could make him slow. Archon began his great attack that Yasuke was not able to observe anything. With a strong blow, he would fall to the ground very badly injured. How is that possible? That one hit, I was so badly hurt. Yasuke was not able to recover from the blow because from one moment to another, a shrapnel of blows would make him fall to the ground again. Without him recovering, Archon would charge a large sphere of energy in the tip of his fingers that was able to go through Yasuke's arm. Thus began the torture of this, as Archon would go through each of his upper lower limbs, making him totally paralyzed. No, I can't believe the power you have! It's incredible! How are you able to have so much power from one moment to the next? 
We are the new omnipotent gods. Before, we were feared for being the supreme rebel gods. But now our legend will rise to the omnipotent world. No matter how much you train, I'm sure that no matter how much you train in advance, an omnipotent immortal god will be able to kill you. Perhaps you're right. But until that moment arrives, you'll already be ashes of all this space. Now die! Keening Annihilator Bullet! A tiny sphere of energy would concentrate on Archon's two fingers, and he would launch his attack and kill Archon. Their power is incredible! I can't believe they have reached the omnipotent medium level all at once! They're truly legends in life! Goku, but if what you say is true that you are the legendary Kakaroto, there must be more powerful guys. Or am I wrong? Of course you are is it right, Zenchan! But we must go to my sister. She'll be able to help me awaken my true power! As far as I can see, the warriors of these multiverses are corrupt by the negative energy. I don't know if it's a good option to go with your sister. I don't think my sister will be able to hurt me. Great Kakarata Sama, one question. What level of omnipotent is your power at the moment? Very good question, Archon. To be honest, I don't know. Goku began to increase his power in a surprising way, making the beings that were next to him look tiny. That's right, Goku's power was so much that the dimension itself began to crack much more, even the barrier that Goku was put under was not enough. Unleash my wild omnipotent power! Divine seal, demonic root void! An incredible power would make all the others fall to the ground, because the pressure that Son Goku exerted was so much that they had not been able to stand. Goku's power could make all the mountains that had been created be destroyed and managed to observe a powerful white-haired Goku that released an amazing power, even much more than Archon. Let's begin. The power of Son Goku was rising in an incredibly amazing way, leaving everyone surprised by such bestial power that he emeated. From one moment to another, an incredible explosion would blow up everything around him. When the smoke dissipated, a Goku with silver hair could be seen. However, something that stood out were the Omni Marks that would stand out all over his body. That's right, Son Goku's power had reached a new level. But if we compare the level of Son Goku with Kakaroto of millions of years ago, his power would be that of practically a baby. Great Kakaroto-sama! What rank of omnipotence are you in? I don't know if I can feel this incredible pressure, but his power I don't perceive. I only feel a key that crushes me. My rank of omnipotence is supreme! And answering to your other question, you cannot feel it because the dimension of my power is very distant to yours. But you must manage to feel this. Goku would decrease his power to an advanced medium range of omnipotence. That moment, everyone in the time room could feel the incredible power of Son Goku. It's an extremely incredible power to think that it's not all of his power. I agree with you, Zemo sama I can't believe that the power of Kakaroto sama possesses at this moment. Goku, at that moment, will change his expression to a very serious face. Is something wrong, big Kakaroto sama It's not something of importance. But if Zeno Sama and I want to increase our powers, we must free ourselves of all the evil and negative feelings in our hearts. And the only way to do that is to take revenge on Dai Shanken. I understand, Kakaroto Sama. At this moment, I will open a portal to the realm of everything. Thank you, Mikoshin. At that moment, Mikoshin would open the portal, lightning would enter in the east, and that's right, an incredible battle was taking place in all 12 universes. I don't know how the hell. That damn Daishenkin had managed to rise to omnipotent rank. How interesting. But let's see if he could do anything against this. Goku would go through the portal. However, Goku would notice five warriors. That's right, Daishenkin was facing Beerus' maximum power, which had received all the energy of the angels and god destroyers. Goten, Super Saiyan Blue, Gohan, Beast Mode, and Vegeta, Ultra Ego, Maximum Power. Despite having greater numerical advantage, Daishenkin's power overshadowed them which only played with them. You are nothing more than simple flies. Now that I possess the omnipotent power, no one will be a match for me. Not even that disgusting monkey Goku. Flashback, Daishenka was terrified, and he would decide to abandon the multiverse and remain in the furthest place of all the multiverses. However, at that moment, a guy would appear in front of him. 
Stop, priest! No matter where in the infinite you go, that Saiyan found you. Who are you? And how did you know I was going to escape? My name doesn't matter at this point. The only thing you should know is that I am an omnipotent being of supreme class, and I have the predictive eye. I can know what any subject will do in the next five minutes. Have you come to kill me? A damn Saiyan sent you for my head. No, priest. Calm down once and for all. You do not have to worry so much. Leviathan has sent me to train you personally. We are gathering an army to end the life of that damned guy. If that saves me from the hands of that bastard, I'll do anything. I hope you're prepared because my training is worse than death. Mikey at that moment would stretch one of his hands and make the priest kneel. That's right, that guy had been able to bring him to his knees just by releasing a little more of his pressure. What is this? I can't move. I'll give you one month to master all this pressure. If in one month you do not master it, you'll die. Because every month I'll increase the pressure in your body. Daishaken would begin with his training, which was too difficult since he could not move. After approximately 11 months, Reiki would approach Daishaken. We have finished your training, you have stopped being a mortal and you have transcended to the omnipotent rank. I am surprised you have elevated to high omnipotent rank. You really have capacity. Thank you, master for all this power. Now I feel confident to finish that damn Saiyan with a few blows. Don't be confident, priest, because the power of that Saiyan is of another level. Millions of years ago, that Saiyan was the only one who could manage to maintain an even battle with an omnipotent god, and not only that, he was able to defeat him. Are we talking about the same Saiyan? That's right, priest, so you better not trust him, because if you do, that Saiyan could end your life without realizing it. Flashback end. Ha <laughs> ha If your father doesn't have enough power, much less will you have it. You're nothing more than simple flies next to me. The power of that bastard's incredible. I haven't believed an omnipotent rank existed. Sorry, Kakarot. I've been able to avenge you. Receive these wretched mortals. Adam Killer Cannon! An immense attack would come out of Daishenkin's hand, which would be directed with an impressive speed. Everyone would close their eyes, waiting for its end, but at that moment, Goku would appear in front of everyone. Thank you, my friends. You fought wonderfully. Vegeta, thank you. Goku would put on a cold look. Before you exterminate one of my loved ones, you'll have to go through my corpse. Goku would quickly charge a tiny Kamehameha, which he would throw it. Both attacks were colliding with each other, but from one moment to another, both exploded, creating a gigantic multiversal explosion, which would disintegrate thousands of hundreds of planets. A great curtain of smoke would rise, not letting anyone to observe. So they had enough power to launch an attack at that magnitude of power. But Daishenken in that instant would begin to tremble. That's right, Daishenken, between all that dissipated dust, was able to observe Son Goku, who was in front of all his friends. To believe that you're on top, your attack was too light! No, Saiyan. No, I'm on top. You can't do anything against me. I swear I'll exterminate you. Daishenken would launch himself to the attack, but Goku would not stay behind, launching himself to the attack in the same way. The battle seemed even. Nevertheless, Goku was only playing with the great police. Goku wanted to break all his pride in that he would never fight again because he considered himself a failure. That Kakarot, since he has so much power, what's that transformation? My father was still alive. I knew they couldn't get rid of him so easily. You are amazing, Sen Goku. You have earned all my respect. The battle between both subjects would continue for a couple of minutes more, where Daishenken attacked with everything he had and Son Goku was only in charge of dodging and receiving the weakest attacks. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of the Dark Omnipotent God, their leader was on his throne watching the battle. Even though Riki was personally in charge of training that priest, he can't do anything against Kakaroto. The power of that separates them like heaven and earth. Leviathan, come immediately! Leviathan would appear in front of him. What do you offer, your majesty? How many warriors have we collected so far? We have collected hundreds of beings of megaversal level and ten beings of high rank of omnipotent. Damn it! This is not enough! The power of that bastard is still increasing! I'll go pay him a visit personally! 
Are you sure with what you'll do? That's right, Leviathan. I have to know the real power of my enemy. As you say, but if he does not return in four hours, I'll go with his entire kingdom to search for him. Don't worry, Leviathan. That same will not be able to take the life of me, your dark omnipotent god. Returning to the Battle of Daishankin and Son Goku, we can see how Daishankin is much more tired and agitated than Son Goku, as Goku would still be breathing normally. Apparently that's all you could do! It's time for you to die! What are you saying? That your death has come! I hope you're ready! Goku at that moment began to move at a great speed, which was even so fast that several Gokus could be observed throughout the space since its speed was so fast that it created replicas of it. At that moment, Goku would give a great blow to Daishenken. Goku at the top would begin to charge a powerful attack with the intention of throwing him. However, when he had already finished his technique, he would quickly teleport in front of Daishenken. You should have never messed with us! That was your mistake, you miserable priest! DIE! Goku would launch his attack, which would pulverize Daishenken, leaving no trace of him. And in the way of that is an impressive explosion could be seen throughout the multiverse. At that moment, Goku would go to his friends and having the power of an omnipotent being, healing the wounds of others was a simple thing for Son Goku. When everyone recovered, Beerus would ask Son Goku for a quest. Goku, what happens to us to face the High Priest? Infused all the gods and angels, but now, all our universe, are without a destroyer god. I can see that you have great power, but... Perhaps you can do this merger. Of course I can, Mr. Beerus. Don't worry about it. Goku at that moment would thunder his fingers and would make all the gods and angels return to normal. At that precise moment, Gohan and Goten would rush against their father, hugging him tightly. I missed you so much, Dad. I trained very hard so that the day you come back, you'd be proud of me. I never gave up hope of seeing you again, Father. Thank you for trusting me, my sons. I promise to never let you down or let anything bad happen to you. Very confident words, it seems. Let's see if you have enough power to back up what you just said. Guyoto, how did you manage to reach this place without me noticing your presence? So you remember my name? Then you should know that with the power you possess, now you're not capable of facing me. Guyotaro would put pressure on everybody present. That's right, the power of this being was abysmal. So much so that all the angels and all the others were not able to breathe due to such overwhelming power. Leave this place now! The guy that's in front of us was that being that gave the power to Daishenken! So, you got some of my ki in his body. Goku would get into battle pose, raising his power to the maximum. Realizing that all his loved ones had moved far enough away, however, Guyotaro at that moment would launch an attack, directing it towards Son Goku's friends. The attack was heading quickly, Goku at a great speed would try to get in front of that great attack. However, he would not be able to get there in time. You shouldn't promise things that you can't keep! But at that moment, Archon would fall from the air. That's right, the one who had received the great attack was Archon. This was an omnipotent being in out of danger. No! No, I won't spare you! Damn you, body! Resist the power of the Omega Kaioken! A gigantic crimson red aura began to cover all of Son Goku's body as his pupils disappeared and became totally white. The power of Son Goku was rising in an incredible way. So much with his power that he even opened portals to different dimensions. Goku, without saying a word, began with a ferocious attack, which of a great blow in the face of Guyotaro would send him to fly thousands of kilometers through the universe. But his attack would not end, since Goku began to fly at a speed invisible to all those of the multiverse. His speed was so fast that only a few flashes could be observed. Guyotaro would not be left behind. That's right, he would also release a great part of his power. In an instant, a great battle would begin. Neither of the two would worry about defense. Both would have direct hits. However, the one who had the more injured was Goku, because his power was not his real power, only a technique of energy increase. 
Meanwhile, in the dimension, Xenosama and Mikoshin would come out, realizing in the same way everything that happened, Mikoshin would quickly cure Archon. Archon, now that you have recovered all of your energy, tell us, what the hell happened in this place? I don't know. The moment I left the dimension, I could see how great a sphere of ki was heading towards Kakaroto-sama's family. I was ready to give my life. And until now, that I woke up again. I understand, Archon. Rest. Your power is still very low. What are we supposed to do? This is a megaversal threat. Kakaroto-sama will lose. The power he's using is much greater than the one he showed us in the Void Dimension. It's a power beyond his limits. I know, but beings like us are not capable of doing anything. Even if we get close to one of his blows, it will reduce us to atoms. There's still an option we must enter the Omniverse again. No, Archon! The former king of everything and the father of Xenosama sealed that entire multiverse so that I would not be involved in total chaos with the true omnipresent gods. There's no other option. Or this way, Kakarotosama would die. But we still have him. Kakarosama survives, he'll surpass all his limits. I must give everything in this move. All right, Archon, I'll trust you. I don't understand what you're talking about, my father. What does he have to do with this? We knew about the existence of omnipresent gods, not omnipotent gods, and the former king of everything sealed this whole multiverse so, so that it's not part of this omniverse. Omniverse? I don't understand anything at all. This is not the time to explain, but you as his son must be able to release the seal, or Kakaroto-sama will die. I'll help my friend Goku, or I'll let him die. At that moment, a lightning would pass by their side. As Goku had been sent flying with a big hit, Guyotaro would start playing with son Goku, giving him a beating and making him fly all over the multiverse. Goku's body looked like a ball from so many hits that Guyotaro gave him. You are nothing compared to me. You just turned out to be a poor worm. Goku's furious would stand straight up. However, most of his bones were broken. That's right, the power was beyond his limits, began to take its toll. Goku, without caring about this, began his attack. Goku looked like a beast. Since he did not reason, he could only hear some roars when they collided with blows. You are ready, Zemo-sama. You yourself could realize that the power of Kakarot is not enough. I am ready. With the right that my father, the former king of all, gives me, I invest the Omniversal Seal and Nomet insertion to the Omniverse. At that moment, a gigantic pentagram would form all over the place. That's right, at that moment, lightning would fall all over the multiverse of Zeno-sama. Guyotaro would not take it seriously. No matter what you do, when I finish with the life of this worm, you'll be next. There's only 5% left of this seal to be completely broken. Hold on, Goku. I've done it! It's broken! The entire multiverse of Xenosama at that moment was teleported, where millions of galaxies, universes, and planets were found. But that was not the most oppressive thing, since at that moment, thousands of omnipotent powers could be felt. What the fuck? Where are we? Why do I feel the powers of beings that overshadow me? In a faraway place, a beautiful girl that's running through the corridors of a castle. The moment she arrives with a green-haired girl. What's wrong, Muik? Kifura-sama, the power of the omnipotent god Kakaroto-sama has returned to give me a sign. But his power doesn't compare to that before. Kifura was very upset and would raise his power in an incredible way, making the castle explode with his aura in the form of a dragon. What are you saying, Miyuki? That's impossible! If this is a damn joke, I swear I'll exterminate you! Kifura-sama, I would never joke with such a delicate matter as Kakarato-sama. Please, concentrate and feel a power similar to his. Kifura would concentrate, realizing the words of his guardian angel were correct. Far away from his omniverse, a power that was diminishing rapidly was similar to the power of Kifura-sama. Miyuki and Kifura would quickly leave the castle, heading to where the great battle was. Meanwhile, with the battle, Goku was receiving the beating of his life. The power of the Omega Kaioken was no longer enough. That's right, not even the power beyond his limits was able to confront Gyo-Taro. Curse, no being has come. From what I understood, when a new omniverse regenerates, a powerful being welcomes it. 
I know that guy is more powerful than me, but I won't let him kill Kakuroto-sama! Mikosha would throw himself against Kutaro, who wouldn't move an inch. <laughs> no matter what you do today, this miserable Kakarot will no longer be part of the world of the living. But before that hit me again, since I have felt how you were able to tickle me. At that moment when Guyotaro was confidently waiting for Mikoshin's blow, an extremely strong blow would send him to the edge of the Omniverse. Mikosha was not able to see a thing, only to notice that when Guyotaro was no longer in front of her, an incredible pressure would fall all over that place. Kifura would approach Kakaroto's body, staring at him. Kifura would embrace him tightly. So you come to my aid, dear sister! Goku, after finishing these words, would be unconscious because the power he had used was brutal. All his key veins were exhausted and his bones were broken. Gutaro would return and, very annoyed, he would stand in front of that woman. I don't care that you're a woman! I swear I'll annihilate you! I want to see that! You have an incredible power, omnipotent god! But you must know that these powers are very tiny in comparison to the beings that possess omnipotence! Gyotaro would throw himself against that woman. Although his body warned him that he was in danger, Gyotaro did not pay attention to the warnings of his being. Gyotaro, at that moment of colliding his fist with the face of death, his arm would begin to disintegrate. What did you do to me? I didn't do anything out of this world. I only increased the heat of my aura a little. Or did I hurt you with so little? This bastard has an amazing power! I must flee from this place or I'll be the death of me! Gyotaro begins to fly through the multiverse at great speed. Gyotaro had moved thousands of kilometers away, however that distance for a being that treads the omnipotent range, meaning nothing. That's right, Kifura would be in front of Gyotaro in the blink of an eye. You damned worm almost ended my brother's life! Right now, you feel what suffering is just by my mere presence. Kira would increase his power a little more, making Gyotaro not able to breathe. Meanwhile, on his planet, Leviathan was observing everything that was happening. I must help Kyotaro sama or that bitch will kill him! Leviathan would leave the place at maximum speed, but not before taking a small flask. Meanwhile, in another Omniverse, a very strange guy would stand up. So, a new Omniverse has joined, but apparently it's Ziku's multiverse. <laughs> wow, millions of years without knowing of your existence, traitorous demon. Returning to Kefura, she was just dodging Gyotaro's blows with extreme ease. It's time to end your life! At that moment when Kefura was about to end Gyotaro's life, a poison spread all over the place. I know what this poison for someone of your level is insignificant. Let's see what happened to Kakarato's insect. Kefura, noticing the words of the girl who had arrived, without thinking twice, at a supreme speed would take Kakarato and Mikoshin. Miyuki, immediately, take all the remaining ones! Miyuki, with one of her techniques, would wrap them in a barrier and then would head towards their planet. The moment they arrived, everyone would ask for answers, since even that battle, the gods and angels were affected as collateral damage. I know you must be confused. We'll explain everything that happened. First of all, what do you mean you're Kakarota's sister? That's right, millions of years ago, my brother fought against an immortal god but apparently he was powerful enough not to die, but from a dimensional rift teleported him to the multiverse where you come from. After that, I don't know anything. Miyuki would get into conversation. From what I could investigate and realize that Kakaroto-sama, after his battle was on the verge of death, he could not remove his wounds, so he decided to be reborn in this multiverse after millions of years. Everyone was surprised, but the more astonished was Vegeta. So, Kakaroto had already belonged to the omnipresent rank before we met him. You're right! Meanwhile, the Leviathan and Gyotaro had returned to their planet and the best specialists in medicine were doing everything to save him. But everything seemed lost, since the energy with which they had injured him belonged to another omniverse much superior to theirs. However, at that moment, a while would cross all the barriers that possessed the multiverse of Gyotaro. There's Ryota, one of the omnipotent gods of the omniverse to which they had joined. I have the necessary power to kill him, but they must swear loyalty to me. We will do whatever you ask, but please, save Gyotama-sama. Ryota would expel a surprising power, and at that moment he would come out of Gyotaro, who had been reduced to atoms. Leviathan would attack with annoyance, 
You said you'd save him, you damn liar! Before judging me and directing you towards me, finish observing the whole process. I couldn't just eliminate the attacks of that woman since her power surpasses me, but I can do this. At that moment, Ryota would jog his fingers and make Yotaro appear in front of everyone. I am able to control the life and death of beings that have a pending revenge in this world. This guy wants the same to me to finish with Kakaroto and his whole damn family. Yotaro would stand up. What happened? I thought I was dead. You were, but I've given you a second chance, so you better be ready. I owe you my life. Do whatever you ask me to do. Just get ready, since you and I have lost a battle, but not the war. Prepare Zaru family. Ryota the omnipotent and omnipresent god is still alive. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.